Hello, 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 hello. We are still on location at Black Nova Design, but this time we have kicked Kyle out of his office. We've taken over and it's just me and Danielle. And we're going to talk all about how to make the most out of your website. Danielle, hello. welcome to the show. Hello. Thank you for hosting us. That's all right. No problem. Uh, we've just stuffed our face on pizza. We have. Um, so we're both in food coma. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's just make it, get our way through this. Right? Let's just, <laughs> yeah. just do what we can. Before um, our nap. <laughs> but let's talk about how to make the most out of your website. People watching this, right, will will get a lot of golden nuggets out of this. Yeah. Because people have websites and they just sit there and they don't really know why they've got them, what mm -hmm. they're for, what's the point of it. Yeah. Um, and I thought, personally, I thought to myself, do you know what, actually, this is a subject that people need to know more of because mm -hmm. what's the point of having a website if you're not going to do anything with it? Yeah. So I know you've got some top tips yeah. written down. Um, yeah. So I'm, in my head. you're going to, oh God, <laughs> but I'm sorry. <laughs> so you are going to kind of lead this, all right? Okay. All I'm going to do is just go, what's the next tip, right? That's how okay. we're going to do the show. So okay. first tip. First tip, well, have a website. Okay. Have a website with your own domain name. Um, so pay for a domain name and have a website. I'm going to make a point there. Own your domain name. Own your own don't get, domain don't name. Don't have someone else owning it, right? Because yeah. literally, what well, is stupid. Well, and the problems are endless. So if you buy from us, plug, it's in your name. But if you buy from anywhere else, just, just be aware it should be in your name. And I've seen this. I know companies that have paid like 45, 50 grand for a website, and then they've gone, oh, yeah, we need to change the site or whatever. Uh, and then it's like, who owns the domain name? And it's the company that owns And it's like... That's yeah. the end of it, right? And yeah. So you don't have, you don't own your own assets. No, no. So make sure you do. All right. So top tip: own your own domain name, but yeah. have a website. And have a website. Tip number two: have a website that works on all screens. Uh, so this whole mobile responsive thing isn't really a thing anymore because all mobiles are different sizes and shapes. There's a new flip phone, which is which is Samsung Joy Samsung in our flip. developer world. Joy. Um, so it's called screen responsive now, not mobile responsive. So it should work on a big TV, it should work on a mobile, it should work on a laptop, PC, anything. Um, and that's really important because over 70% of the website audience is on mobile nowadays. And that could be yeah. tablet or mobile, not necessarily. It's really strange, actually, because Cena Bounds has seemed to have flipped that on its head. Has it? Because literally 60% of our usage, I think 62% of our, um, like, all over... Uh, usage is through PC. I only use your website on PC. I'll and I be think honest. it's because it's business yeah. related. So people are doing it whilst they're yeah. actually on their laptop working rather than Facebook, LinkedIn, yeah. which they're doing on their on their phone. So I think it's because ours is business business related. People are tending to do it as part of their day. Yeah. Which is brilliant. And when you add like when I add the blogs and the and the other fun stuff, I think that's what it's called and see no bounds. Fun Interesting stuff. stuff Interesting we'll go, fun. It should be fun stuff. Yeah. Um, it's easier on a PC to copy and paste it in. I don't actually have it on my phone. Exactly. But, but yeah, I definitely use your website more. So we have flipped it on its head. Um, we've also got the male and female almost to 50%. Have you? Yeah, it is 49.5 male. And Whoa. It's, I know, right? Like, you that's, just that's you can't impressive. write it. I know. That is impressive. So we yeah. are fully inclusive. Um, <laughs> <laughs> tip number three. Tip number three. Tip number three. Um, you've got your domain name and you've got your website. Now you've got to think about images ah, i love this one i love this images one. i think everybody should use stock imagery what do you think <laughs> <laughs> i think i'm gonna leave <laughs> don't you think it's really really obvious um and i get it there are some industries or some people that are starting out that don't have images mm -hmm. right but but bear in mind that even if you don't have the budget for a website you're going to need images for your social media and for your pr so the photography is probably the biggest investment that you're going to make overall, yeah. minus the website, because you can use those images everywhere, including on the website. Please get them. Okay, really should we tell them why? Like why? why? Because people can just click on it and then they'll find a thousand websites that have used that same image. Yeah. But also, even if you edit the image, right, there's something called Chrome Spyglass. Yeah where it basically takes a thing and then it will just literally just select all the other 150,000 emails, uh, websites that that image has been used on. Yeah, so yeah, it's, really, it's, it's abundantly obvious. We do use stock imagery though, like on our blogs and stuff, like some of our blog images, because you can't have images of everything. No. Um, and, and to be fair, I'm not overly bothered by someone clicking on it, because it's not about the image, it's actually no, about yeah. 
the content. But yeah. all of our main imagery for the site yeah. are all professional photos. And most of your LinkedIn is professional photos. Yes. Yeah, I'm glad you've noticed. So, it, yes, <laughs> I did. Uh, but so that's the point. It's not just for your website. It's for across all platforms. Yeah, social it's, media, it's that important. all sorts. Yeah, yeah so absolutely. Images are, are really important. Um, I will pay another note on this. If you want to get your business into the media, yeah. you need professional photos. Yeah. Simple as that, right? Yeah. So yeah. we've even got professional photos of us and the dog. Yeah. Tesney, even though she, I call her the Asper Doodle, and she's completely left pain. She is a massive part of Cena Bound, right? Yeah. People know her and they recognize her. Yeah. They know yeah. her as the Asper Doodle. Yeah. Um, so why not bring her in on that kind of family yeah. shot? Um, perfect. Okay, so what was that? That was three. Or, uh, let's go for tip number four. Next tip. Next tip. <laughs> <laughs> branding. You need a logo. Um, you need some colors. You need branding. I'm not talking about going spending five thousand pounds on a branding expert. You can, and it is worth it, but you don't need to. What you need is a logo that suits you. That is simple. Don't use red. <laughs> don't use danger red. To be more specific, my logo is red. <laughs> uh, for the Jamie McCash, but it's a love red. Lovely. That's how I like to put it, right? Don't, don't use a danger red. But so basically, yeah, you need a logo. Simple is better. Um, use someone that knows what they're doing. Have a custom designed logo. Again, don't use a stock logo that you can buy from anywhere um, because they only give you sort of one resolution of it. You need it to be sizable, scalable, mm. so it works really, really, really small and really, really, really big. I do want to point um, out though, the Black Nova designs actually has red in it. Um, just saying, hashtag. <laughs> All right, just saying, hashtag. But it's a Always love red. red. It's, a, it, red. it's a simple yeah. love red, right. Um, so, but going on the branding and on the colors and everything else, like pe branding is so much more than a logo. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. It is the type of font you use. It is the story behind your site. And we talk about all of this and people go, oh, I don't really get it. And this is a lot of it. When, when people say, well, what's the story behind it? People don't understand that, right? Now, no. I think everything should have a story behind it. Yes. So, Cena Bounds logo has a story behind it. Yeah. And, and I've written blogs about that. Um, yeah. The colours, the colours have a meaning. Yes. Um, so, originally, when Cena Bounds started out, it was more disability-focused. However, as it's progressed and grown, we want to become as inclusive as possible. So, we use black, blue, and white. Um, but actually, the blue that we use is the right color for visually impaired when embedded over with the white. That is really important, really. And honestly, you wouldn't believe the amount of people that ask us to design websites and say, I want this color font and that color font, and I want white over black, and I want, you know, white font over a green. And I'm like, okay, but who's your audience? Yeah. It's okay if your audience doesn't need you know could potentially not be colorblind but let's be honest there are quite a few people out there um and and so you you have to really think about it it's not necessarily trying to be inclusive it's to ensure that the website's usable yeah because we changed our color mm -hmm. for the website it was our so john who's john hayes who's uh, you i don't think i've introduced you to john yet but john is one of our business partners and mm. he's the one who designed the site and he actually came he in a board meeting said we need to change the color and I was like, well, we can't change color. It's our brand color. And he was like, yeah, but if you're visually impaired, you can't see it. So we actually changed. And it was like minute. Like it made no yeah. difference no. outside of the website. Yeah. But on the website, it made every difference. Yeah. yeah. And and literally, the, the wording went from being blurred to being perfect. Crystal clear. Just a little tweak. So yeah. take note of your web developer. That's my top tip when it comes to coloring. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. They will recommend what works best. Yeah. If you then go back to them and say, or oh, could we do it this way? The answer is yes, you can. You can do it any way you want. But a developer or a designer will know the way that people work on the internet, the way yeah. that people behave online, and also the best way to get what you need out of your website. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. and I heard another tip recently as well um, about online businesses. Uh, when you're talking about imagery and you're talking about uh, the actual design as well is you know the banner the the scroll things at the top like sometimes have the cat uh what are they called the header the big header image yeah slider yeah slider header. carousel yeah do you know that on a lot of online businesses that the carousel will reduce your um traffic by 62 percent yeah 
It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. So when you're thinking about design and yeah. people go, oh, but I really want this big carousel in it. But it, it, if you're running an e-commerce website, that's that's death. Yeah. Death yeah. by... Yeah, too know. many images. It slows it down. Yeah. There's, it, the point is there's too many things for people to concentrate on. And, and as jokey as that might be for, for somebody like Kyle or, you know, you who sees shiny things and is like, oh, new shiny thing, right? You can't do that on a website because... <laughs> Well, you want people to do something on a website. You don't just want to be like, oh, nice picture. You want to be able to achieve how, something. How have I been compared to Kyle? Well, you, you're, both, you're both a bit um, <laughs> Mag- abstract. <laughs> abstract. <laughs> I hate this woman. <laughs> All right. So, we're <laughs> abstract. Next. How many more tips we got? Uh, I don't know. What are we on? Four or five? Four or five, yeah. Okay, we may next, have got eight. Next tip. Next tip. Okay, next tip. Oh, you've lost me now. So we have logos. Logos. Colours, font. Yeah, images. Images, we've done that. Domain. Domain. Content. Content, right. Content, content. that's the next one. So we did a show recently with Kyle all about AI, uh, which will help with content if you do struggle with this. Um, But what's the importance of it? Right, the importance of it is um, you don't want your website to look like a five-year-old wrote it. Yeah. Right, if you're going to look like a professional. (laughs) If you want to look like a professional in anything, even if you're a builder, you know, content is not going to be top of your priority list. So, yeah, use AI, use a content writer. I don't care. Get content, right? Because a website is going to be useless without content. If you do want to, like, find out more about content and about AI and how AI can help you, seriously, look at the show that we did with Kyle recently um, because we talk a lot about that and actually tricks of using AI. Um, it's not the black art like people think it is. No, right? it, no, it's, it's not. It's great. And your website needs content for every page. So yeah. not just your home page. You're about you're about really important. Probably that that could be my next tip. Or we'll include it in this. You one. need an about page. You need an about page. Yeah. People need to know you. Um know, like and trust. That is the key. Yeah. Um services page and your contact page. They all need uh, well your services page needs to say what you do. Yeah. Um and not um not something like I mow grass. That's not enough. You need a I make gardens look beautiful. You know, that's <laughs> how you would say it, right? Yeah. You wouldn't go, I, I mow grass. Yeah. You go, I turn your garden into a paradise. Yeah. Like that's exactly. It's about wording, right? Yeah. And more words than just one sentence. Yeah. You like know? I we don't connect people. We help people find the connections they need in order to grow and sustain their business. Like exactly it is a little bit about wording, right? It it's like a, the glorified job. Hugely about wording. Yeah. 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 Okay, so uh, so we got that. So okay, let's talk about blogging then, right? Because I yeah. think blogging is a top tip, and it has to be. Blogging up. is huge. The show yeah. should have been ten minutes. That was ten minutes ago. Um, <laughs> so let's talk about blogging, right? Because yeah. this is massive, and this subject is huge. This is why I don't want to go over. Yeah. Because people have a website, and they just don't do it. What you end up with is a ghost town. People turn up, and it's a ghost town. And if people turn up onto your website and they go, "Well, no one's done anything on this for the last five years," these people are clearly not present. They will go to the person that is present. It's yeah. simple as that. Yeah. And Google do the same. Google go, ah, oh, no yeah. point looking at that house. It, it's empty. You know, lights are on, no one's on. Exactly. Right? So yeah. content, up-to-date content is crucial. And also reutilize content as well that you've already got. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with going on there and changing it and then just adjusting when it's published dated as well no. because it brings it back up, right? Yeah. And also one, one blog should be a minimum of around 1,000 words. Well, mm-hmm. that's what, four social posts at least? So you know, don't just think of it as, oh my God, I've got to write a blog and it's got to be this long and it's got to be this and it's got to be that. But once you've written it, it's so much more than one blog. You know, it's it's four social media blogs. Yeah. It's it's more to talk about. It's then a conversation point that you can direct people to if they want to learn more. But you can use snippets out of it in I'm, so many I'm, different places. I'm intrigued to talk a little bit more about that because, and maybe we should do a show about blogging because you, I, my blog, I've got a lot of content on the site. But they're not always a thousand words long, right? Mm. It's so it's not a hard and fast rule, is it? No. It's just an advice. Like guidance, rule. yeah. And and actually on an SEO point of view, um, they say between three hundred and a thousand. And that's a massive gap mark. Yeah. I mean huge. That's like that's like it's massive. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. it, it's like it's like a presentation over a quick yeah. snippet, like. Um and I think it's really that's why it becomes such a black art, right? Yeah. But I think if your content is engaging, captivating, and educational, people will buy into it. But you can't educate someone in 100 words. You just can't. 
I don't think you can in 300 words either. Okay. Um, so there is a, a blogging, um, there's a lot of, of talk around people saying that blogging, you're giving away stuff for free that you normally get people to pay for. Um, and now I don't agree with that. What no, you're no, doing, no, no. no, but but I've seen a lot of it because I don't know what to blog about. Because if I blog about what I do, I'm giving it, giving it away for free. Yeah, and that's the problem. But you're not giving but it away not. for free, right? No. Like the no. only thing, the only time you're giving it away for free is if you write a book. Any no. other time, you're not. No. So in any other time, you are giving knowledge for free. Yeah. But what you're actually doing is saying, look, I'm the expert, but I'll show you how to do it. And then when you don't know how to do it properly, yeah. let me know and I'll do it for you. Yeah. And that's basically what you do, right? Like I tell people how to network in our blogs and I yeah. show people how to network because I run a network business and there is an art to networking. Yeah. But that means that that person could go, like I could teach you how to network and then you can go network in any other network. On you the might not planet, know how to network. Right? I don't know. <laughs> we've never had that conversation. <laughs> but at the same time, but that's the point, right? Yeah. But then yeah. why will you come and network with Cena Bounds? Well, because that's down to me to sell that to you. That's yeah. down to me to go... No, the reason why you want me to do it is because, yeah, I'm the best person for the job. Yeah, I've just shown you how to do it properly. But see, you need to do it because you know and I can trust me. Yeah. And the only way to do that is not only to meet you in person, but to also read your blogs and to read your other stuff online. The no like and trust is what happens with the blog. Yeah. Um, and what's common sense to you in your industry is absolutely not common sense. To Keep jargon else. out of it. Keep jargon out of it. Yeah. Don't use jargon because no, I don't know what jargon don't. means. Um, no. Okay, so look, we, I think we've got to move on. What's the next tip? Um, menu structure. Ooh. Menu structure. Yeah, we have we have controversial here because <laughs> you believe in seven. Seven, seven. We we got more. The see no bound. So it's a little bit like the blog, right? It's a guidance. the 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 rule is that people cannot take in more than seven pieces of information at once at any time. More than. Yeah. So, if your website has more than seven across. People are like, what do you want me to do? Uh-oh. And so you've over, over, I can't think of a really good word here. I want to say overstimulated, but that's really not the word I'm looking for. Overpowered. Overwhelmed. Something like Let's that. Let's go with that. That's better. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So um, seven across the top. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't have drop downs. You know, your services could then have five drop downs or your blog could then have categories or your products could then have different categories. We have them as well. Yes, you do. Don't have a home page on the top. If you have a home, then that takes you seven away. Your logo should take you, you to your home. home. You don't. Well, you have a home page. Yeah, you your logo, logo takes you to home. You don't need a home at the top. No, I no, no, I totally agree. I'm not arguing see, with you. See, this isn't a debate. We, we'll, we'll agree then. <laughs> We're agreeing to disagree. We'll agree on that bit. But I do have more than seven. Um, <laughs> okay, next. I mean, and that is, no, no, in all jokes, right, that is a great tip. But also on mobile. Because when you drop down, then um, you have like a mass, which, which we do have, right? But that's because we've got a lot of content. And, and But we are a massive site. And, mm. and yeah. I think there's kind of need for it. Yeah, E-commerce that's... sites are slightly different as well. Yeah. You know, you have subcategories. categories. So it's, it's, a, it's not a hard and fast rule, but it is a rule, right? It's a guidance. It's a guidance. Yeah. Um, and rules are there to be broken. So next tip. <laughs> Last tip. Last, Last tip. tip. Last tip. Every page has to have a purpose. I love this tip. Right? Don't just put a page in because you think it's meant to be there. Blog, as an example. Don't just write a blog because you think everyone tells you you have to have a blog and then not use it. That's stupid. Just don't have one. Right? So okay. every page has to have a purpose. Your contact page has a very good purpose. People need to contact you. So make sure your contact page works. Do you know how many websites that go on where there's no contact page? I'm like, who the hell is that? Or they don't have a number or an email. Mental. Seriously, right? You may as well just be going, hi, we're open, but don't come in. Right? <laughs> I just don't get it. If, if you don't listen to anything else after the show, yeah. there's plenty of contact details on the website. Yeah. Don't worry. Putin isn't cared about your mobile number, right? Get it on the website so people can find you. It's ridiculous. Um, sorry, your show. Right, round <laughs> and Every your, page have purpose. I think it's a pretty good show, right? Your homepage, right? Your homepage, what do you want people to do? Call to action. Always, we want them to join. Right, so there so, should be at least two join now. I think your home page. Three or four, yeah, but at least two. Yeah. So it's in e-commerce, what do you want them to do? Buy Buy a product? All right. Have your products on your home page. If you're a service-based company and you want someone to sign up to your newsletter, make sure that's on your home page. You want people to look at what services you offer, make sure it's on your home page. Yeah, make it easy, clickable. Right. Really easy. We this is yeah. something that we've actually been working on recently, actually, more so to get all this right. 
because there are things that we haven't actually got right on our UX. And this is one of those things that we're actually looking at at the moment. Yeah. So um, yeah, really good. Some really good top tips there. Um, look, we've gone on for 20 minutes now, right? Yeah, this so we'll stop now, that's show. it. Uh, well, we should have made this a two-parter. <laughs> yeah. But you know what, when you get like, you, people think that me and Kyle in an interview is bad enough, <laughs> put me and Danielle in there and it all goes wrong. Yeah. Um, but look, it has been brilliant. Don't go back. We are going to be back soon uh, with another show. Uh, it's going to be brilliant as always. Uh, we'll see you shortly. Take care. Bye.